Right, so there's quite a lot of things that Sierra Charts isn't doing for me as soon as I log into this and I can understand that a lot of people would get frustrated because straight out of the box it's quite a complicated complex piece of software and it's very very different to something basic like MetaTrader for example which is easy to use out of the box um, the problem with MetaTrader is that it's just too basic it doesn't allow you to do a lot of things so you, it's a trade-off if you want a more powerful piece of software then there is going to be a learning curve so buckle in and get yourself set up for it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat a little bit by installing some configuration files from my old in, uh, installation of Sierra and I'll share those with you as well so you can follow along with this process so if I just go and find those files uh, let's go and play with them over here real quick and I'll wrap them up into a zip file and then I can share that zip file with you there are, should be three maybe four files that we need and let's just try and figure these out so I'm gonna go with the configuration file I definitely do need and I'm also going to take global symbol settings let's take them and the keyboard shortcuts config alright so I'm going to go and create a new folder called demo and I'm going to put it in my Sierra charts demo folder there we go alright so uh, there it is let me just paste those files in here and I may as well just zip them up so they're ready to go as well okay Sierra files so you don't need the Sierra files zip you'll just need what's inside them and extract them of course on your computer and you should have the same three files here anyways so we need to take those three files one two three and we're going to copy them into our Sierra Charts folder and we're going to overwrite the what we've already got there so I'm going to copy those and paste them in here and me, I'm getting a, um, a box to say do you want to really do that yes I do so I'm going to replace all three of those files and let's see what that does now from experience of this not working for me once upon a time what I may need to do is delete the old ones first before pasting the new ones in but let's try it let's see what it does so I'm going to exit this um, get out of there do we want to save well I suppose we can create a chart book can't we so I'll just call it demo on this file name and just save that and there we go so at the minute we are now out of Sierra charts in the background I can still see that we've got the documentation for Sierra which loads up it's very detailed the Sierra charts documentation I recommend reading that if you have some time there's a lot of it but it might be well worthwhile okay so we've just loaded Sierra charts back up can see that it has not accepted these new files that I've added so uh, as frustrating as it is I'm gonna exit this first and then I'm gonna make those changes so in the demo folder it was one called Sierra 3 one called keyboard shortcuts and one called global symbol settings so that was one global symbol settings I'm gonna delete that keyboard shortcuts going to delete that and Sierra 3 going to delete that okay so Sierra is closed I've just deleted those three files and now I'm going to copy them and paste them back in there okay so that should work let's find out I'm going to log back in Ta-da! excellent alright that is more familiar for me 
and that should hopefully work the same for you as well so you just have to have Sierra charts closed before you change those files so let's just go and open up another chart file find symbol I don't know let's go for DAX again open intraday chart that looks more like it so what are we on 30th of August today we are yep good ah yes ah, there we go <laughs> I'm so sad that I was actually pleased to see that I can move my chart around by clicking and dragging so that's good all right and you've got the usual tools so you can play around and draw some lines and do whatever you want to do with that and that's good it all seems to be working fine so that's great okay let's just try a couple of things three points one two three ha ha of course I right click on it to turn it into a fork okay so one or two things that you might try and use and it not be perfect for you but it works for me and just the, my processes basically might be different to yours okay that works pressing space bar seems to cancel out of what I was using which is what I want it to do so it's still drawing at the moment until you press space bar and then it goes and I've made a real mess here so I'm going to clear that all up by EAL which is erase all lines excellent so that seems to be working now what I have noticed that we're on candlesticks how do I turn that sorry we're on um, uh, what would you call these OHLC bars um, so that, yeah OHLC bars so if I right click that option here to change to candlestick bars is right there great okay good I think we're pretty much ready to go so what we'll do is in the next video I'll talk you through some of the basic tools and what's up here across the top and how you can use them and then in the future video we'll also then look at how to add different custom indicators and different indicators onto the chart and then from there you should be ready to install the DAX Trader intraday uh, software and be good to go. Alright, we'll see you in the next one.